Hello and welcome to another Raggies Beers, Wines and Spirits review and another draft beer review. I bought five and uh, it's got to be done, hasn't it? So, I got this from the Abdication Micro Pub in Daybrook, Nottingham, facing the famous Ermales. Uh, this is Disco Balls. It's an IPA, it's 5.3%. Let's dive in, shall we? So, it says here. It's an easy drinking pale, combining five of the best hops on the planet to create a beer full of incredible flavour. That's on Google's page. So, you may, if you've seen any of these other draft beer reviews using these IKEA bottles, it doesn't look like the bottles hold the, um, oh I can smell the hops, really strong. It doesn't look like the bottles hold the, hold it as good as what I've had from, um, say low cost beer. So maybe the bottles, although well, they're sealed, so you'd think they would, but you know, you'll win some, you lose some. The main thing is, does the base ta beer taste good? So it's a golden pour. Very little head, but obviously that could be just because of the bottles. And uh, I'm sure if it was poured in the shop, there'd be a different um, thing altogether. Lots of hops on the aroma. Oh, that's got some taste to it as well. Obviously 5.3%. Let me go back on to Shiny Brewing. So, Shiny Brewing, I have brew, uh, reviewed one of their beers before. Um, I got it from adventurebeer.com on a beer hall. So, talking about their beers for a second, they do. Reese Peanut Butter Milk Stout. Now, that sounds gorgeous. 5.5%. A sweet and creamy peanut butter milk stout. That's down Raggy Avenue. Um, certainly a beer I'd love to try. Nimbo Stratus Cloudy IPA, 5.5%. A full bodied cloudy IPA with piney and citrus flavour. Forward Best Bitter, 4.5%. A full bodied English Best Bitter. This fella, Rocky Pale Ale, an highly drinkable pale ale with fruity and citrus qualities. Affinity Golden Pale. A strong, which is 4.6%, a strong golden bitter with lots and lots of fruity citrus hops. Moa New Zealand Pale, a 3.9% a New Zealand hopped session pale. I've got a mate um, who's got a family in New Zealand and he's big on anything New Zealand. It's, you know, it's his thing. He'd love that. Paradise Mosaic Pale, 4.4%. Naturally Cloudy Mosaic Pale Ale and Golden Best Golden Bitter, a review for tomorrow. Um, an easy drinking bright golden cask bitter with a citrus aroma and hints of grapefruit and pine. Free Rolling Pale 3.8%, a session pale with hints of grapefruit and citrus alongside lime and tropical fruits, crisp, aromatic, easy going. Thunder Bridge Session IPA 3.7%, a fresh tropical mouth strike that combines a modest ABV with a big IPA flavour. Lots of beers, isn't there? Liberty Pale 4.2%, Citra and Mosaic Pale with a well-balanced semi-sweetness and bitterness. I need a drink talking about all these beers. Oh. Washing the palate now as well. Happy People Pale Ale, an e 4.2%. An easy drinking pale combining five of the best hops on the planet. Oh, so that's where it got that. So this is a hop loaded um, IPA then. That's Google for you. Crap into it, aren't they? Adventure 4.2%. A sweet and juicy hazy citra pale made using entirely citra hops. Bison Pale, 4.2%, a super hoppy pale with citra, mosaic, cascade and zoo sops. Horizon, another cloudy pale, 4.7%, heavily hopped, easy pale. Trouble in Paradise, 5%, a 
a deliciously rich porter infused with cocoa, cacao, nibs and desiccated coconut. That does sound interesting. Wrench at 4.4%. A stout with six different malts for complex and rich flavour profile. And then, another interesting one for me. Rocket at 7%. A big flavour and aroma driven by lots of US ops. The oppositions are sky high. And it just goes on and on and on. And I can't... Oh, cherry truffle. That sounds nice. And then they've got a list of ones that they don't no longer brew. So, obviously do a lot of beers. Um, menu. Shiny brewing. So they're based at the old Hall Mill Business Park in Little Eaton, just outside of Derby. I think apart from the head, the beer is tasting really good in these bottles. And obviously it's an experiment. They're only pound each. Um, go to your local micro pub, because let's be fair micro pubs I've been to Green King pubs the last few weeks all they do is Green King IPA you'd be lucky if you get any cask guest beers you know um, I went to another pub to eat El Pat to eat at, eat at and again standards I ended up having lager because <laughs> the beer is rubbish so you know if I had the money I would open a micro pub as I've said many times on this channel I'd open my own little micro brewery I mean obviously I brew my own anyway my own rhubarb wine and uh, rhubarb and ginger wine rhubarb stout and obviously uh, you won't be able to sell it in the pub I don't think probably give it away yeah I'll try some of Raggy's uh, rhubarb wine see what you think as a freebie. Now that'd be something, wouldn't it? To give it away as a free. I mean, I've got, I've got up there, uh, that is rhubarb wine. It was rhubarb, wasn't it? So I did a rhubarb wine and a rhubarb stout. And uh, I've not touched it since it's been, since I barreled it. So, hmm. It makes you wonder with micro pubs whether they're allowed to sell homebrew or does that come under something different, you know. It does make you wonder. And I'm sure somebody will put me right at some stage. Now the only problem now these days with going to card payments is everything's got to go through the books. And there's an issue where if you're paying by cash and you were doing, if you're selling, if you're selling a bit of homebrew by cash, you know you could get away with it. But um, with card payment, you can't get away with nothing. It's all there, done and dusted. So whilst people may prefer card payment, mm, cash is king. And in fact. We've got a petrol station up the road from us, Mobile, um, in Daybrook itself. And um, they take cash. And that's the only the reason we go there is because they take cash. Because obviously lots of places now are doing this card payment and that. And it's like, you, got, you, get, I mean, you get cash. My wife does cakes, so she gets cash from that. And um, cakes by Tracy on Facebook. Um, she's posted a penis cake today, so uh, <laughs> it was for a hen party. So yeah, she's posted that today. I did hashtag it, but you, there's no one you can actually. Uh, I've got some. Uh, I, I'm surprised some of my mates haven't commented yet. But uh, yeah, it's a funny cake. So, enjoying this uh, shiny brewing. I can't remember what beer I had off them. And I know I have. Let me go on my... No, I can't search my channel. I can do it on my computer. I can't do it on the phone. So, 
moving away from beer for the moment, you know, there's not many times in the last year, and maybe a bit longer than the last year, if I'm being honest with myself, where um, when it comes to the end of the weekend, obviously we've still got Monday tomorrow, and that, you know, I'm looking forward to work. Looking forward to it. I'm absolutely relishing going to work. And uh, <laughs> what a difference. I've only been in the job seven days, seven actual days in the job. And my creativity is bursting at the seams. Um, I'm taking cuttings today uh, to trial. I've got cuttings of lots of plants. Now, if you have your own own home or you go around, say, public parks, don't do it on National Trust, you'll probably get bollocked. But, you know, most, a lot of shrubs... And now's a bit late in the year to do it, to be honest. But you can put it on your windowsill in your kitchen. Get a get a two-litre pot bottle, cut it in half, or use big scissors, whatever. Don't cut yourself, obviously. Fill it with water. Go in the garden. Have a look at plants that you've got. You know, if, you, if, you're, on, if you're struggling with money, get some plants. Cut off the freshest growth you can see. Peel off some um, leaves. Drop it in the water. Fuchsias. You can do that with fuchsias. And... With most, with most shrubs, um, within anything up to two months, they'll start producing roots. Put a bit of soil in the water so so the roots cling to the soil, a bit of compost even, and then pot them up. And think of the money you can save. Now I'm doing it for this new workplace, you know. Um, and at Tuesday I'm in Kellam, in Newark, Kellam Country House Hotel. And uh, I've already looked, and it looks a very green site to me. Lots of grass, not a, not, not a lot of colour. And for a gardener of 33 years, and in fact, a gardener of 39 years, because obviously I was a gardener, and I, I was doing gardening when I was a child at 10 years old. And, uh, you know, to bring colour, to bring fruit, vegetables to both these hotels, uh, it's, it's such an interesting project. And uh, I do think the manager, the owner, uh, can see the same vision as me. That in any business, growing your own produce is good for the business name. And, uh, you know, I forgot what I was going to say then. But yeah, growing your own is massive. Uh, growing your own flowers, it's all good for the medias, you know. Um, now, getting back to micro pubs for a second, and you know, you say growing your own beer from beer kits and having it as a, as a sample. So you get your plastic kegs. I've got plastic kegs here, plastic barrels. Brewing your own and saying to everyone, um, free sample of my uh, bulldog brews, evil dog. You know, you don't you know, only make it a sample, mind you. And then if they want a pint, say, look, there's a kitty there. You've got to chuck money in the kitty for that. Yeah. Make sure one of them sit there. There's always ways. Anyway. So Shiny Brewing, based in Derby. Um, and obviously they do a lot of... Um, a lot of different beers. So it's nearly nine o'clock, Sunday night. Third beer of the day, I've got to say. Another cracker. Uh, I've enjoyed all the beers that I've managed, I've got today on draft. And uh, I've been wanting for a while to, you know, I like to support local businesses if I can. Because obviously every penny coming through pays bills, pays wages, keeps the company alive. So I did it to the Bakehouse in Sherwood. I went there, spent 50 quid on beers. Um, and this weekend, just been up the road and uh, spent nigh on about 18 quid, I think it was. Five draft beers. But on the draft beers, I didn't read the email. So thank you both. Thank you to Lucy and Matt. It is Matt, isn't it? 
don't want to get in trouble for saying the wrong name. Let me just double check. Be just me to be just like me to say the wrong name. Let me check my email. And uh, what I do like is good customer service and the answer you back on emails. And uh, and obviously very yeah, it is Lucy and Matt. Thank God for that. And what it says is prices range from three pound twenty to three pound sixty a pint to drink in. So that's not bad. That's a good price. That is. I mean, I've paid up to six quid, and in time you do. And with twenty percent off these prices for take home beer, that's why it was cheap. I couldn't work out why it was thirteen pounds from. I thought, I'm sure she's made a mistake. But um, yeah, I mean, going in, taking your own bottles, getting a bit of draft, especially for people who are shielding. Who, who don't feel comfortable in pubs at the moment, go into, you know, local micro pubs, local pubs, and especially if they've got a load of different beers in. Now, Lincoln Green, Castle Rock, who I both support massively because they're both great uh, companies. Their beers, uh, I will be visiting their pubs and doing the same sort of thing, going and getting as many as I can. If I have to buy some more, a couple, two or three more of these, I will do at some stage. But I think five at any time is enough anyway, you know. Lovely flavour. So, I can't pick out the flavours. And that's really poor, I know. So very hoppy on the initial pour. Um, but beautiful flavour. I'm struggling for that element. That that the end, the the at the, at the back end, that flavour that comes down. It really is absolutely spot on. And the ABV is nice as well because. Me being me, I like strong beers. I mean, an imperial rum and raisin. Oh, I'm in, I'm in heaven territory. And if I could make one myself, I would, but I, I can't, so it's no use bothering. I can brew. I brew beers. Obviously, I brew wines. I mean, last night I um, reviewed this fella, and it was full last night, so... I drank over, because that's two bottles of wine there, so just so as you know, I drank well over a bottle and a bit in about 20 minutes. No wonder, I, no wonder I had a good sleep last night. And I've got the rosé that I made, Magnum Rosé. So, it's like a pub in here. And obviously you've got the beer wall behind me, and, you know, over 400 beers in here. You know, it is a beer lover's paradise, really. And uh, I like it, anyway. Right, well, that was a really nice beer. It's made me smile. Beers that make you smile. And, you know, you're reminiscing. All that, it's all about the pub, you know. And uh, the pub that we all really miss, you know. And when coronavirus does one, well, I don't think it's going to be for another year, and we can get back to some normality, you know, Go into a pub, bit of banter, having a laugh, you know, knowing not going too far, you know. I mean, there's always one person who does. But, um, yeah, getting that normality back. So, yeah. disco balls. Uh, 5.3%, nice strength, a good hoppy taste. Poppy aroma rather, and great taste throughout. I did do struggle with that last element with the back end. I mean, for me, for me, there was a hint of pine in there, citrus maybe. I don't know. I struggled with this one. That's two. That's two in about five days. I've really struggled getting the. I struggled with uh, Lenten Lane Brewery's Peco Smash as well. Couldn't pick out the flavour. And I'd had a drink before, mind you. So, you know, maybe that. Maybe if I just drank two a day. Mm. Yeah. But that's what the t-shirt says, look. 
you know. This is my drinking t-shirt. I wear it every day. Yeah, jobs are good. Em. But yeah, get this down that way because I can't see. Um, a really good beer. And uh, I'm loving the draft option. It, uh, I think it's working. It might not be, you might not be getting a full size head on it. Uh, which you probably would in a pub because obviously you know you lose something but once you pour it away pour it into a contain container you lose something but it's worked so get yourself some of these bottles or even plastic bottles you know even bloody milk one pint milk things and uh, get yourself some draft Whew. so out of five then uh, I nearly forgot them yeah, great beer for our, enjoyed it. Nice, good, strong aroma, actually. Taste, great taste, fruit out, loved it. Uh, would I have it again? Hell yes. Really good beer. Good strength. So, out of five. Yeah, I mean, for me, an absolute belter of a beer. Um, and uh, thank you very much to Lucy for being so helpful today putting it if you do watch these videos from the abdication micro pub for writing on 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 the label as well you know i mean i remembered the the um the breweries and uh, yeah thank you so much it it all helps obviously it helps you because you're keeping distance from your customers we sat outside while you did it and uh it brings a bit of business in, which is which is always good. You know, it's always good to get more business, and uh, you know, good service, a knowledgeable um, landlady. You know, it, it all helps, and uh, it's a good experience. And that's what we go to pubs for—a good experience. So, um, for the beer itself, out of five, I absolutely love this. Went down really well um for me a 4.5 out of 5 yeah absolutely and if you do see this anywhere shiny brewery it's a derby based brewery but obviously the beers are everywhere uh make sure you get yourself a pint because uh, it's very interesting and if you live in nottingham especially if you live in near me um add nip up get yourself some sit in the pub oh what a belter and that's it for this beer review 22 minutes jesus mother i do talk a lot thanks for watching see you soon cheers